Hello there, my name is Thomas and I'm a classical astrologer come tarot reader from Hong Kong. Um, everything so far has been done in Cantonese, but um, following the opinions of some of my fans, my followers, um, so I, I decided to open this YouTube channel to um, like, and uh, things will be done in English and Mandarin Chinese. Yep. Uh, yeah, so um, uh, I'll be doing monthly horoscopes on this channel in English and um, Mandarin Chinese and or maybe other stuff or sometimes I just keep uploading, uploading like miscellaneous stuff. Okay, because I've been doing monthly horoscopes for about two or three years also and um, the feedback has been really positive, has been really great. So uh, I think the reason is because I actually um, go through three steps. Yeah, every time I do my monthly horoscopes. So the first, the first step is that um, I use my tarot cards to predict the results for to to do my monthly horoscopes without without looking at the stars, without knowing anything about the chart. But but of course I do know something about the chart. Okay, but I I don't want to read the chart carefully. I don't want to like go through it first because I don't want to get any preconceptions. Yeah, so. As I like, um, like throughout the course of my tarot reading, everything is neutral. It's without, it's without preconception. Okay. And then step two is that I look at the chart, hmm. the astrological chart, and now I see are there any, are there any linkages or um, <laughs> is there anything special, any like um, anything just between uh, the two results? Okay, astrological results and tarot results. <laughs> and then step three is this. Sometimes between my monthly horoscopes, I do look back. Uh, at the previous, uh, at the at the at the result from the previous um, issue, yeah. So um, I also look at linkages, try to find um, find out anything like um, just mystical or just um, um, worth mentioning, and then I just um, put it in the latest monthly horoscope. Yeah. So I think this is why my um, monthly horoscopes with results has have been quite accurate so far. And that's why the the feedback ha has has been quite po um, positive and also quite supportive. Uh, yeah, and also I'm not okay. I never, I've never done this, never ever show the terror results to anyone. But but if they are if they are quite special, maybe I'll just mention them in in um in my recordings, yeah, in the videos. But then I prefer not to do that because I don't want to re reduce tarot into like just pictorial cards, just picture cards. Because tarot, of course, like um, the major part is like is pictures, right? Especially right away, right away here. Okay. The pictures do tell a lot of things, but not everything. And sometimes it it just happens that people look at the cards and they listen to the results, the querents, okay, the querents look at the cards, look at the pictures, and they listen to the tarot readers. And they think, oh, I know, I know how tarot works now. This picture means this, this picture means this. No, I tell you what, no, it is not the entire case. It might be 60% of the case, but then there are, there is 40% um, that comes from numerology, astrology, which is so important, um, as well as, let's say, mythology. Okay, for example, uh, let me ask you this. When you see a reversed queen or empress, okay? Major Arcana, okay? The third card, reversed. And the Queen of Swords plus the Queen of Cups. What do they mean together? So the, the answer is um, the querent. So the, the person who asks tarot, who is seeking advice from Talu, which is called a querent, might be suffering from diabetes. And you can never ever tell this from just by looking at the pictures, okay? So this is why this is why I prefer not to show the pictures to, to everyone. In order not to um reduce it to just like sim like simply picture cards, okay? And um yeah, so I really think monthly horoscopes um it's so important that you include like at least two aspects. Like um, I I, I do tarot plus astrology because um they are so intertwined, of course, and um you can never just like rely on one um 
divinatory um, school. So uh, I combine I, I combine them both. So um, that's why the results have been quite accurate so far. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I don't think lots of people are doing this. But may, maybe in in the Western world they are. Okay, there are good astrologers come tarot readers. But at least in Asia, okay, mm-hmm. at least in Asia, people just tend to know either only astrology or either only or only um, tarot reading. Okay, and that's not a good thing. Yeah, so I really hope that my monthly horoscope will um, just benefit all of you, so we can all take advantage of the beautiful energy and the joys of spring from the universe, and know the do's and don'ts, and um, just be in our element. Okay, just enjoy our life, and know how know uh, and know the ha- know the how tos, know the how tos. Okay, mm. and the last important thing, and may- might be the most important thing, is that. Um, I do not issue my monthly horoscopes monthly or according to the calendar month. For example, January, February, March, April. I don't do that. I do bi-monthly horoscopes. Month, uh, yeah, bi-monthly horoscopes. Why? Because, um, so I'm going to <laughs> create this hashtag. Please respect the stars or please respect the planets. Because the planets, they move according to their own schedule. They don't move According to our artificial Gregorian calendar, which was set by set up by Pope Gregory a long time ago, because our calendar set up by human beings is totally artificial, mm-hmm. and the stars, the planets have their own schedule. Yeah. So, um. So, how am I going to issue my bi-monthly cal- uh, my bi-monthly horoscope readings? I do it every new moon, mm-hmm. and astrologically that means um, new potential. Opportunities, because that's when uh, the sun and the moon come together. We call it a conjunction. Yeah, and I do um, my second bi-monthly horoscope reading every full moon. Mm-hmm. And full moon means culmination, the climax of a story. And astrologically speaking, that's called an opposition. When um, when the sun and the moon. Come opposite each other, and that's why the sun shines, um, sheds light upon the moon, and the moon reflects its light back upon Earth, and that's why we see a big full moon, big bright moon. Okay, yeah. So this is um, uh, my rationale of my bi-monthly horoscope readings, and the first, um, the first reading, I, I mean the new moon reading, is going to cover the entire period, the entire more or less thirty-day period. Okay. And my second reading, which means my full moon reading, is going to cover the period between the full moon and the end of that period. Okay, so let's say this is thirty days. Okay, here it is. Okay, this is the new moon. This is its end of the period. Let's, let's call it the end of the month. Okay, so the new moon reading is going to cover everything, everything from here. Okay, and my full moon reading is only going co- is only going to cover. Um, predictions from the full moon until the end. Okay, yeah. So this is how my um, um, bi-monthly horoscope readings are going to work. So um, I hope you are going to enjoy my channel, my readings, and um, yeah, Godspeed. Bye.